Welcome back. Whether you're up early to get a jump on that holiday shopping or you're getting that pot of coffee started, we're happy you're here with us on Weekend Daybreak. New details this morning, a song well sung. Legendary Broadway composer Stephen Sondheim has died at the age of 91. He's being remembered as the driving force behind some of Broadway's most beloved musicals, NBC's Ann Thompson reports. And crimes committed in the air, physical assaults, verbal abuse, fistfights, and intoxication. I-team reporter Doug Wolf reports tonight about air rage and the calls for a federal crackdown on the rowdy behavior on our nation's airlines. Welcome back. A closer look at the heartwarming tradition now. Once they gobble up the turkey, it's time to hit the field. The Kinsler family played football together for the 37th year in a row Friday. And I got a cl closer look at what's going on behind the long-standing tradition. Ryan! Ryan, Emma, Elizabeth, Nora. These are all familiar names because they're on the game roster every year. Thanksgiving is where they all congregate here, and this is one of the main events for the congregation is the football game. The huge Kinsler family Thanksgiving football tradition lived on for its 37th year, and it was as exciting and chilly as ever, but it didn't start this big. They just decided to play football, and it just grew and grew and grew. That's John. He's the oldest of 10, yes, you heard me right, kids, and the oldest participant of the games. While he isn't playing this year, he was able to offer up some background on the game and the players. There's quite a few of us, and they're coming from Indiana and Missouri and Michigan. And one of them has played it right from the beginning. So I was 12 when I uh, first started this game. And he says it just keeps on growing. You know, new spouses come out, you know, new new kids get born. They, they, they get their inaugural jersey when they come out for the first time. And um, it, it's so much fun. Besides newbies getting inaugurated, he says the game isn't complete without an MVP award. And one of his kids won it last time. We uh, give a an MVP trophy to you know whoever uh, you know had some of the best plays of the day and uh, you know um, get their uh, name engraved. Not everyone is required to play. Some cousins or aunts and uncles might just be trying to stay warm, but some came ready to duke it out, like Emma, who's already a soccer player and cross country runner. So you're a pro now. <laughs> but seeing her cousins is enough. Sitting and just feeling like surrounded by people that appreciate you and want to know like what you've been up to. They say this year was actually smaller than normal and they hope for a bigger turnout next year. Well, you showed us a seven day not too long ago and you know looking at those temperatures it doesn't look too terribly bad but then you look at the lows and those feel like temperatures right yeah. so going into this week we might need to bundle up a bit more huh? Yeah so it's so still, different than Antarctica. Antarctica two inches Two inches year, so. to 42. Definitely a desert. That's right. And like you said, we're saying earlier with that robe and going right back to bed, that makes that makes you just want to do that later today. I'll get that <laughs> nap in. We'll see you guys back tonight at 6. And stay warm.